vlog two. I'm here today to do my weekly wrap up. I have Winnie here. She's so cute. I like sat down to film and she immediately jumped up. So I got this pillow here um, so she can sit nice and comfortably because she has not left my side. It's been a very cold week um, weekend. Like I mentioned um, on my Friday Reads video, it's been very cold and gray and gloomy. But luckily um, this afternoon, the sun's finally come out. And so hopefully she can, uh, you know, take a break <laughs> from needing me so much. And um, yes, yeah, so I thought I would have her on uh, camera a bit because like, <laughs> she just, she's a little film diva. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll talk about the books I read. I only read, only read, I read four books um, this week. Um, I've been focusing a lot on like the essay collections I mentioned in my Friday reads. And um, I started a huge book over the weekend, uh, the Hamilton uh Big biography. And I actually, funny, <laughs> before I get into the books, I'll tell you about it. Uh, I was reading Hamilton, and um, I normally read on my Kindle e-reader. And so this book has a really tiny font, and it's a really big book. And so I actually, like, stra like strained my, um, my, like, I don't know what this is called, this part of, like, my thumb, like, just from, like, keeping that book, like, pried open. And, like, did the, you know, the right side it's a lot thicker, you know, and heavier because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, more working my way through the book. And, um, so, yeah, like, I, I don't think that's a book I can actually read, um, you know, in just a couple sittings because my, my hands can't, can't make it and my eyes can't either. And so, um, yeah, this is, like, I had initially wanted to read it over the weekend, but I was like, no. <laughs> so, I'm going to be, I'll read it, you know, in short bursts. Um, so, I'll tack it on with, you know, the essay collections I'm uh, working on. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, try, I tried, but, but <laughs> I couldn't handle it. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd tell you that funny story in a way. Um, the trials and tribulations of a, of a book reader. Um, but yeah, let's get into the books. Um, the first one is In the Garden of Beasts, Love, Terror, and an American Family in Hitler's Berlin by Eric Larson. And I'll see where I can focus. I'll, I'll, I'll put it here. So we're not blocking Winnie. Um, so yeah, this one, um, I finally picked up another Eric, Eric Larson after years and years of um, not, not reading anything. I can imagine he's a very popular author. And this one was um, just as fascinating as I thought it would be. It's about a, um, a, a family and an um, ambassador who um, gets assigned to go to Germany. And it, um, it's during the 1930s. I think 33 is the year he goes over. And, um, and it, what first grabs your attention is, you know, of course, the time period. You know, this is when Hitler is becoming... Is becoming um, a prominent leader, and he's slowly and surely taking over um, the government of Germany, and he's really, you know, changing um, the, the way things are done, and, you know, the whole movement is, is starting to happen, and so that's, you know, really interesting, but then the family itself, the, um, the ambassador family, who's coming from um, America, um, they, the, the father and the daughter in particular, were just the daughter, really, it was just, um, I don't know, she was, she was something. <laughs> um, uh, yes, like the, um, the, the father who's the ambassador, he, um, was a history teacher and he really liked, um, writing books on the old South, um, it was, what it was the book he was writing called, called, and it was all about, you know, antebellum and civil war era, but so he wanted more time and he was a history, history professor. He wanted more time to focus on his book. And so he thought, oh, you know, if I work for the government as an ambassador, you know, and, uh, you know, as a, an easy country to work to work with, then I'll have tons of time and still be in a prominent position, um, or have a, you know, really like a high profile job. And he was like different from other ambassadors because he wasn't hugely wealthy. Um, you know, he didn't have to provide for his family, but he wasn't like enormous amounts of money like a lot of other ambassadors. He just happens to like fall into the job of um, kind of of working. Um, in Germany, because um, Roosevelt had initially wanted other people to for the position, but they kept turning it down. So, you know, it's kind of like a last resort in a way. Um, he uh, Roosevelt kind of uh, gave this job to to um, main character and <laughs> the, the uh, ambassador, and so yeah, he ended up in this position. And it turned out to be a lot more work than he thought it was he would be, and he so um, spoiler alert he he never got to really focus on writing his novel because. Um, so much was, ha so much was happening. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it was really fascinating to, um, learn about how, like, these, this person, like, fell into the position. But so then the other part of focusing on this family is, is the daughter. She was, um, very, 
um, active um, socially with all sides of um, like the German political scene um, with very um, like Gestapo, um, uh, people of the Soviet Union, uh, the KGB, um, Nazis, um, people you know from America or, or in France who were there at the time and so she was just hobnobbing with everyone and she had a lot of lovers who were in very prominent positions and so it through her eyes you got to um, learn about these people kind of from a human perspective, but, uh, and also, you know, you know, what they were up to as well. So yeah, this is a, uh, this is a, this is a very interesting uh, book. Um, I would highly recommend it if you're interested in, um, in history or, um, you know, World, World War II history. This isn't focus on the war because it's pre World War II, but it really, it's, it's starting to gear up for the war. It's like a you know, pre-war book that um, is it's very fascinating to read. And then I have um, a book that I was um, disappointed by. Um, I, I wanted to like it more, but it was just, it was too dense and slow. Um, this is Anointed with Oil, How Christianity and Crude Made Ma Made Modern America by Darren Dockchuk. Doc I'll see if I can move when she wants to jump down. Okay. So, um, yeah, this one, I, I, I didn't really care for it that much. I, um, yeah, it... it it was very dense and very, like I said, very slowly written, and um, it didn't really move very fast. It opens up with um, the discovery of oil in um, the Pennsylvania area, and um, yeah, it, it stayed in that, and that it, it, it stayed too long, I think, in each time period. It really stretched it out, and the connection with Christianity um, wasn't, um, I don't know, it wasn't as, like, Pulled in the in the forefront as much as I thought it would be. It really the Christianity part is um, like the people who discovered oil, um, you know, like the big oil barons, um, how they were using Christianity um, in their lives, and so it didn't really have as strong as connection um, with that as as I thought um, this this book would um, talk about. Um, but it, it was still an interesting book. But it's um, yeah, I think it was just too dense, and it was just. It wasn't very readable, is what I'm trying to say. And it, fo you know, it follows you know, the timeline of um, discovering of oil and then, um, of course, uh, moving forward in the present day, you know, working with um, the Middle East and, and all of that that, you know, that entails. Um, so, yeah, there, there's this one. Um, and then the last one, and that's the last one, I have one more because I have a physical book, um, is Our Dogs, Ourselves, The Story of a Singular Bond by Alexandra Horowitz. And this one... Um, like Philip Side of Anointed with Oil, I love this book. Um, this one that recently came out, and she is a kind of like a dog psychologist. Um, um, she she works she she does like scientific studies um, with dogs um, in like a non I don't know what to call it, like non destructive way with dogs. I know like a lot of dogs are you know, experimented on in horrific ways, but she doesn't do that. <laughs> it's not like, not like that. She's you know it's like more like cognition and um, how how do dogs' brains work. And so in this book, she's talking about kind of how humans interact with dogs and how we um, put like human emotions and um, human emotions into dogs. Like we you know we we think they you know they look guilty if they if they're caught I don't know like eating a snack or something and they like you know like oh or eating you know destroying trash or eating a sock something like that you know where we think oh we're we're putting that human emotion on them and uh, that's just one of our studies and also showing how um, that look that they're giving us in that like that guilty moment is um is a, a face facial structure that's facial expression that um they often put on you know throughout the day it's just, it's just that moment we, we we're putting on that um that guilty uh, look and so it, and she talks on like, all sorts of things about how um humans treat dogs like how um for example when we go to work you know the dogs are left alone for eight and a half nine ten hours a day and how you know, what are they thinking while they're at home and um, why we think it's okay to leave them alone, that kind of thing. It's, it's all about, like, you know, our interactions with, with, with dogs and, you know, what we're actually going through in their mind as much as, you know, we can, you know, figure out. Um, so, yeah, this was this was very interesting. Um, I, I like reading psychology books and I love reading books about animals and this had a really nice uh, combination of the two. So, yeah, if you're interested in dogs, then, yeah, uh, this one this one's a good one to pick up. And then the last book I read was Voices in the Ocean, A Journey into the Wild and Haunting World of Dolphins. This is by Susan Casey. 
and um, this one is about uh, Susan, who um, she's having a rough time, and so she goes to Hawaii, and uh, she's just swimming in the ocean, and she gets surrounded by a pod of dolphins, and that really kind of like sets off her journey into learning about dolphins. She um, she goes to like this dolphin retreat in a way, like this like healing, I don't know, like uh, therapeutic uh, resort where um, people daily swim with dolphins and they're led by a woman who, you know, is, is she like, she wishes she could live with the dolphins. And it was, it was, that was, oh, it was kind of bizarre in a way, but, um, but I, you know, I could kind of understand it. And, and then she goes um, on from going to that was dolphin resort to um, learning about the history of dolphins and kind of like with the dog book, you know, she's learning about um, like the psychology of dolphins and how very, very, very smart they are. Um, they're one of the few animals who can, if, you're, if they're given a mirror, they recognize themselves. They'll kind of like preen and font, uh, you know, in front of the mirror. And with other animals, other animals either ignore it or they'll think it's another animal and want to attack it. But dolphins can actually recognize themselves, and that's um, a, a really good sign of intelligence. And um, it's you know, about the, you know, like what's going on in their brains, and um, also, of course, how people um, interact with dolphins. She puts a lot of time on talking about um, Sea World and um, the different uh, different uh, cap captivities um, where dolphins are unfortunately placed and then talks about the extinction extinction of dolphins um like the dolphins that are in um the rivers how they're in particular very um inclined to extinction and then also uh, the contamination of the ocean and how that um, isn't doing the dolphins any good and uh, um other things of like how dolphins are constantly caught in nets and um fished and that, and that, all that kind of things. But she does have a, you know, positive spin. It's not all negative. You just talk to like, you know, all of the good that dolphins, um, are for and how, um, how they're constantly used in even things like jewelry. And I think, you know, how, you know, you can go in a store and you see all these like dolphin replicas. And I think that really shows, um, how appreciative we are of dolphins and, you know, what is the, what is the tie, um, with us with dolphins because uh, so yeah this was very fascinating i learned a lot about um dolphins and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to have read this one so, yeah these are all the books i read um this week um let me know um how your nonfiction november is going um if you're participating in it i counted um my books i think i, I forgot already but i think i'm at like 13 or 14 um nonfiction books so far this month um the only thing that i have read that isn't um, nonfiction is, um, like I mentioned on Friday Reads, I went, um, to the comic book store, because my boyfriend really wanted to go and check out, like, a local comic book store here, and I got several, um, issues of comics, so I read them this morning as, like, a weekend cartoons, in a way, it was really fun, uh, to read those, so that's my only, like, break from my nonfiction, uh, reading, but, yeah, I feel like I'm doing, I, I'm doing really good with, um, the books that, um, I have been wanting to read on my TBR, I'm making a, a good dent on it. And I still have, like, two weeks to go, and so, and of course there's uh, Thanksgiving break, and so I'll have more time there to uh, read them, but I feel like I have a lot of currently, currently reading books going, because I'm reading, like, different essay collections, I'm reading, um, the Charles Darwin, um, Origin of Species book that Steve's doing for his mandatory read-along, and I'm reading, oh, my dog's, like, scratching, he's, like, hitting the camera, okay, hopefully you don't get too nauseous when he's, like, Tucker. Calm down. <laughs> so, we, so we won't, like, uh, jiggle it too much. Um, so, yeah, I'm reading um, The Origin of Species. I'm reading two essay collections, the one on um, slavery, and then I'm reading my Nature and Science one, uh, collection. So I got those three going, and then I'm adding the Hamilton, because I just, like I said, I physically cannot read that book too long, because just my eyes, and also my, my, I don't know what this is called, but, like, the tendons in my thumb could not... <laughs> keep the book open oh my gosh um <laughs> so yeah I feel like I have a lot going on and I have an audiobook and I have um yeah other books I'm reading so but yeah I know you know I have it planned out so by the end of the month I will have them all you know read and I, you know and so that will um bring up my total so who really cares about numbers I, I don't like I just, I just I wanted to make a a good dent on um, a lot of the books on my TBR because I have a lot of uh, nonfiction books Tucker I'm trying to uh, 
Well, he can scratch in a second. But yeah, I'll let you go before Tucker's just, yeah, he's going to go to town over here with scratching. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you soon.